So next up, somebody's in a lot of trouble. Somebody's in a lot of trouble, bro. This traffic stop turned into a drug bust. $1.7 million worth. Somebody ain't going to be too happy about that. Let's check this one out. Kilos, bro. Yes, duffel bags. Holy shit. My guy. Yes. That's a begging. On March 22nd of 2024, around 1.30 p.m., troopers from the Ohio Highway State Patrol stopped a rented box truck with an out-of-state registration traveling east on Interstate 70 for executing an unsafe lane change, following too closely to the vehicle ahead of it, and for not using headlights while driving in the rain. What started out as a routine traffic stop for the troopers quickly escalated into a huge discovery. That's what I was wondering. I was like, yo, this is a Penske truck. This is one of those rental trucks. What made you, how did you get to that from, from here? So I'm interested. I'm not too bad. I'm gonna pick up this penny that oh, fell yeah, out of your door, okay? Rental. Is this your truck? No, it's a rental. A rental? Did you rent it? Yes. Okay, do you have the rental agreement and your license? Yes. That was also down there. I didn't want that to blow out. No, no problem. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you turn your headlights on? Yes. Also, be careful with how close you're getting to some of those other cars, okay? You got in behind that semi. You weren't speeding or anything, so just go around them or back off of them. I don't want you to crash or anything, okay? okay? Arizona? Yes. Where are you coming from? From Arizona. Coming from yeah. Arizona. Okay. Where did you rent this at? Uh, Tucson, Arizona. In Tucson? Yes. Where are you headed to? To uh, here to um, Harrisburg. Harrisburg? Yes. Pennsylvania? Yes, Pennsylvania. Okay. All right. What takes you over there? Because I'm going to move over there. You're moving? Yeah. Okay. Are you doing this for our company? A company? Yeah. No, it's because I used to move things at other times, uh -huh. so that's why. Okay. So, where are you um, taking the truck to? To, um, it's going to come back. To Arizona? Yes. Okay. All right, so you rented this and you're moving your stuff to Harrisburg? Yeah, just a, a little stuff and then I'm going to take another one. And... Okay, you're going to do what now? I'm going to take one stuff and then bring that, come back and then... Like, oh, so you're going to use this truck yeah, again? Yeah, Okay, when did you rent this? It was on Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, sorry. This Wednesday? Yes. Okay. All right, have you had any tickets or anything else? No, nothing. Okay, so do you work for a moving company? No, I used to work. Okay. Yeah, but I, I don't work You anymore. don't do that anymore? Because yeah. it looks like you rented it under this. Uh, Andrea... Yeah, that's what uh, my company. Okay, like I said. so this isn't your company? No, no. What's in here right now? It's just uh, some sofas and my luggage. Just that. Sofas and yes. luggage? Okay. And it belongs to you? Yes. Okay. Yes. I hear this a me. lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah and if you're doing it for pay, that's fine. I'm no, no, it belongs to me. It belongs okay. to me. All right. And then you're going to. So, why did you. Why are you going to drive the truck all the way back? Because, like I say, because um, I'm coming to move over here and then I'll go back and then bring another stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, bear with me. Let me do some checking on some things. But that's why I have you stopped, okay? Yeah. Be careful. You've Have you had any breaks or anything? When did you leave Tucson? I just leave in Wednesday. Wednesday, so yeah. you, you've been driving hard then yeah. if you're here already. Where have you been sleeping at? At the hotel. Oh, you yeah, slept at the hotel? Yeah, I'm okay, how many nights? It's two nights. You spent two nights in a hotel? Yeah, no, one night, like, I, I came on Wednesday, uh -huh. I slept in the hotel, and then yesterday I slept in the hotel. And... Okay, all right, well, bear with me for one second. You can tell he's done this a lot. <laughs> By the questions, those would trip me up too, bro. Like, 
I, I, what what gets me is like, fam, you doing this out here? Why isn't your story like ironclad? Like, why is why do I feel like listening to you makes me nervous for you? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you could tell the choppiness, the confusion. He asking all the right questions. He doubling back on questions. Like, you could really tell he does this. Like, I was wondering before, and then my other thing is, why do people drive so crazy when they be doing this type of stuff? Like, you driving, like, erratic and close on people, and I I'm not saying that she was speeding because she wasn't, but some people be speeding, lane changing without signals. Like, I never understood that. But uh, her story is horrible. The hotel and then gesture is left in the hotel. Okay. All right. Well, bear with me for one second. I'm going to check some things out and I'll be back with you. Yeah. Okay. Thank All right. You. I'm just going to leave that stuff up there. Yeah, for you. No okay. problem. All right. As the troopers spoke with the driver, Andrea Salea, a 27-year-old woman from Tucson, Arizona, they noticed that she was extremely nervous, told an unusual travel story, and spotted potential criminal items in the truck. This heightened the trooper's suspicions. This is a problem. Arizona. So she said she rented this on Wednesday, which she did. Today's Friday. Smell it. You smell the air freshener? Yeah. It's all over the rental. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. <sighs> Doesn't smell like a car air freshener. It smells like a deodorizer, like a detergent, or like a Febreze or something. So she rented this in Tucson. Pickup date on the 19th. What? Not according to that. But here's the problem. She won't tell me the truth. She rented this under Andrea Celia Delivery, which is a company. She mm -hmm. said she has a moving, she had a moving company. She doesn't work there anymore. She's going to Harrisburg, PA, mm -hmm. and she's taking it back to Tucson. I'm like, if you're moving your stuff to Harrisburg, why are you driving this back? And she's like, well, I'm going to go back and get more stuff. Well, she's not going to make it back to Tucson and back to Harrisburg and back in the next four days. So, so one of two things is going on here. She's either lying about the moving stuff and this is not her stuff, or she's doing something else that she shouldn't be doing. That's really the only legit the reason for this. I mean, this is a... $1,100. Oh my god. For seven days. Hi, this is Sergeant Williamson with the Ohio State Home Patrol. I didn't want a traffic stop. I need a subject check, please. Say what? Coming from Tucson, going to Harrisburg. So. Is she nervous? Smell that. It's air freshener. It's like downy or something. That's what I said. It's like a softener, yeah, yeah. fabric softener or something. You know, me and my wife will shoot me. Huh? I'll come smell like that, my wife will shoot me. <laughs> yeah, if, I'm on the phone with Epic. They're running. I'm still or, walking. Okay. Another great catch by him, bro. <laughs> Who smells the paperwork? Like, only a trained, experienced person in this line of work is smelling the paperwork. And what type of illegal or, or weapons or whatever he said was inside the vehicle that he peeped to? I want to know what that was. Like, what are you, what are you, you should be the model citizen. Like, what are you doing? Troopers then brought in a drug-sniffing canine to check the truck and the dog alerted on the vehicle. And this gave state troopers probable cause to search the truck. Hey, 
Jacob, Jacob, hey, what's... Jacob. Ooh, check. Because normally I'd be like, man, that dog didn't smell nothing. Y'all just saying that. And if you say it, then there it is. You can say the dog looked like he smelled something or he smelled something and alerted us. And half the time, it don't never look like they did to me. That's the first time I can say a dog actually smelled something, stayed there, was trying to get to it at all. And I actually saw it and witnessed it with my own two eyes. Normally, that's not the case. No weapons on you? No, no, no. I'll just have you put your hands on top of your head. I'm just going to pat you down with the back of my hand, okay? Face the car. There you go. Come back here. Just have you have a seat there, okay? Set it up front. I don't care. Front row. Front row. Load them up, buddy! It's fucking kilos, bro. No. Yes, duffel bag. Holy shit! Yeah. Woo! Yes. That's a big one. During that search, troopers located 110 pounds of cocaine wrapped in 50 individual packages worth an... With deodorizer and Febreze all over your paperwork. Driving all erratic. Who are, like, I knew, like, when she, t when he opened the door, she knew she was done. Her whole face, y'all saw how red her face had gotten. How do you even, with a hundred and ten, you on cruise control, you in the far lane, it's so much distance in between me and the vehicle in front of me. I'm 10 and... What? I, uh, bro, 110 pounds? What were you about to do? That's crazy. That is... Wow. Estimated $1.75 million. Back on it. Let's go. Okay. Alright, we'll we'll right. you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, can it maybe use against you in court? You have the right to an attorney. You can't afford one, one can be provided to you, no cost by the courts. Or do you understand that you do not have to talk to me without a judge? You understand all that? Okay. Where's this going? SP1742. New York, okay. New York City, yes. and you want to deliver it? Uh, do you, we were asking, are you, do you want to deliver it? No, I don't want to deliver it. No, no, I was going to do it because I was, they was going to pay me. Okay. But you don't want to move this to New York? Okay. 
for us. To help you as well. It's not just us. Obviously, we're we're think, think about it. You got some time, okay? Go ahead and have a seat up there. I thought it's advised we're out with 388. Lift up your hands. Okay. okay. I'm just going to put this on it. I was wondering if that was the question they was asking her. And she, he, no, 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 you want to deliver this. Like, we want, we, we, we got you, yeah, like, but you, you small potatoes. We want the whole thing. We want to bring down the whole, like, they smiling and everything. No problem. All right. You comfortable? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to drive this back to our post and to the next exit, and we'll talk in there, okay? All right. You good? Yeah. Alright, think about what we're offering you. This is part of your life too, okay? I have kids, I have husbands, they don't know nothing. I know, but somebody's gonna be very mad. Yeah, my husband is gonna get mad no, with I'm, me. I'm talking about when you lose what's in there. I know. I'm not gonna be happy. I'm gonna have my kids. Huh? I have my kids, I have my husband. You don't even know nothing. So, where's he even? He advised you of your rights, correct? He what? He advised you of your rights, correct? Yes. Okay. Where, where, where's your family even think you're at right now? They think I was working. They didn't know nothing. I just say I was going to make a delivery. I like uh, to put um, furniture for another person. And my husband said, oh, so you're going to go? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's why they didn't know. So what we're actually offering is for you to deliver that to New York. And we are asking them. It helps you. Because the presumption right here for you is to go to prison. Okay. We work out here in the middle of nowhere. They don't like that stuff coming through here. Okay. So think about it. Because if you're willing to take it to New York, we'll bring in the DEA, which me and him both work for the DEA as well, besides the fact we're state troopers. And that in turn, that cooperation helps you with sentencing. So think about that. Right. Any questions of me so far? No, I'm okay. Okay. One second. That's not great. She ain't gonna do it. She ain't gonna do it. I don't think she gonna do it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, she's already lied to her husband and her kids. And that type of weight, that puts her husbands and her kids at jeopardy, fam. Y'all watch the movies. Y'all know what happens next. Salea was taken into custody at the Franklin County Jail, where she claimed she had been offered $50,000 to transport the drugs. She was charged with drug trafficking and possession with intent to distribute, both first-degree felonies. If convicted, she could face up to 25 years in prison and a fine of up to $50,000. Would you mind answering some questions for me about it? No problem. It? Okay. Uh, how much are you getting paid to do this? One thousand each kilo, so you get fifty thousand dollars. Yes. To do this trip. In pesos or American money? No, in American money. Fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Uh, how many times have you done this trip before? The first time. The first time. And you got caught by us? Yes. Okay. Like first time this far or first time moving down? Like how far? Like, like outside of. Arizona, California. No, oh, this is like the first time every. This okay. is the first time. Okay. Said so 12, 10, 9, and 2, or? or yeah, 10 2 years. No, 12, 10, 9, and 2 years. My little, my girl, 9 years. She's been having uh, surgeries on her head. What's wrong with her? If you don't want to ask. She has chronic stenosis since she was little. And then she had the first surgery in five years, and then this past year in November she had the second seven hours and a half in the surgery room, and she needed another one, like two or three more. I'm not gonna be there. Well, so here's how the process works. I mean, from what you told me, you, you haven't been arrested like this, so you, you don't know what's coming. If this goes safe side, we're going to take you to our jail about 20 minutes away. 
Okay. They'll put you in jail there. You'll see a judge on Monday. He's going to look at a preliminary investigation report and say, okay, you got caught with 50. No, this is what I'm doing. It was for them. My husband is going to be mad at me. Oh, he's going to be super mad. He had no idea. No. How did, how did a mom that stays at home with four kids, who talked you into this? I don't need a name. I'm just saying. How did somebody, you seem like such a good person. I mean, I understand people get down on their luck, but still somebody has to come to you and say, hey, if you want to make a lot of money and then hook you up with the person to get the dope from and then take it all the way to New York, like, that takes some doing. There's a lot of mistakes that happen along the way. All that was just in a bin out in the open. Like, like they ain't trying to take part in the truck. They didn't, like, I'm like, man, that was just lazy, like sloppy. You know what I mean? And I feel bad for her too, bro. Daughter, multiple surgeries. You know what I mean? So I get why you out here trying to get to it and hustle, but fam now they they without you so now they down to one parent they can rely on right now so the situation just got extremely worse my uh my body cam's on <laughs> That's that man. How soft it is. Yeah. I bet that's. I bet, that, I bet that's fentanyl. Soft. And that's the worst right now, bro. So many people are losing their lives to that stuff, fam. It's bad out here. You hear the stories. You hear, you hear the cases and and. Things and how they talk about it on the news and how it's impacting it. Like, it's like, it feels like the 80s all over again. What you heard about the 80s and how crack hit the hit the scene and what it did to people. Or it's, it's bad with this stuff here too, man. And it's taking people's lives left and right, bro. Like, I'm not even mad they getting it off the street, fam. I see what it's doing to our people. It's, it's bad. They all just understand it. So yeah. they test it right there. They see the test again. Yeah, they've got both a bunch of them. They tested them. Look at that. That's so that's 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. That's 12. So that's 30, 31, 32. 18. 50. Okay. I got it. 50. All right. 50. All right. That's about as good as pictures you're going to get. 18. That's 12. Wait, no, it's. I think it's more than that. I think it should be more. Than that. I think it's 52. You might as well make your face down. 18, 19, 20, 32, and what was this? 18. It's 50. 50. Hey, Brad. No, don't. Come on, dude. Let's get a. Uh, let's put it on a. You up there, thing or anything? Don't put. Don't put your face in that, bro. You do not want that leaking.
And whoever this belonged to finding out that you the one. Like, come on, man. Don't y'all gotta be smart. Like, who don't watch movies these days, bro? No, I got a family. Don't put my face attached to that. Let's put it on the hood and take a picture. Hold on. That works. Let me get evidence photos of this real quick. 